have the dandies now showing up in full force. Um, Good afternoon. We, the people of Clumpton, are united together during this period of national mourning following the passing of our late sovereign, Queen Elizabeth II, on the 8th of September. Our sadness at this time is shared by people across the globe as we remember with affection the lifetime of service given by our longest reigning monarch. The basis on which our monarchy is built has ensured that through the centuries the Crown has passed in an unbroken line of succession. Today marks the formal proclamation to the people of the parish of Plumpton of the beginning of the new King's reign. The accession council has met at St James's Palace to proclaim our new sovereign. The flags which have been flown at half-mast since the Queen's death were raised briefly to their full height to mark the start of His Majesty's reign. The proclamation of the new sovereign is a very old tradition which can be traced back over many centuries. The ceremony does not create a new king, it is simply an announcement of the accession, which took place immediately on the death of the reigning monarch. In an age where communication methods convey news around the globe instantly, the proclamation is no longer the means by which people learn for the first time they have a new monarch. However, today is one of the first occasions when our community has the opportunity to come together to reflect on the moment in our history when the reign of our longest serving monarch come to an end and our new monarch succeeded. I will now invite the Reverend Hobbs to lead us in a moment of reflection. Thank you. It's, uh, it's a privilege to get asked to, uh, to do this and I, I just want to extend the, uh, the invitation right now to, uh, to all of you on Sunday at 10 o'clock we're having a special service in St Andrews to celebrate the life uh, of our amazing Queen. And today and Sunday also is a mixture. It's a sad day and yet also it's uh, a happy day. It's a sad day as we mark the passing of the Queen who served for such a long time and it's a happy day as we announce uh, the, uh, the beginning of the reign of King Charles III. And it's appropriate that uh, we mark that in church as I'm sure many of you would have heard many of the things that have been said about uh, the late Queen's faith. I heard a wonderful story just a couple of days ago when she was speaking to one of her chaplains she said to the chaplain, I only wish my Lord Jesus would return in my lifetime. We believe that he will one day return. And the chaplain said, oh, oh, why is that? And she said, because I would love to take my crown and lay it at his feet. A sign of saying that though she is uh, the queen, who, who has seen the, uh, the crown jewels? Anyone been to see the crown jewels? They are amazing. And she recognized that that crown that she wore, that she uh, was looking after as it were she recognized that that was not really hers and she wanted to lay it at the feet of Jesus the King of Kings so it's appropriate that we do that and we'll be doing that on Sunday and you're very welcome to come and join us I now have a, uh, a formal prayer to read for us this is the collect for the sovereign Almighty God whose kingdom is everlasting and power infinite have mercy upon the whole church and so rule the heart of thy chosen servant Charles, our King and Governor, that he, knowing whose minister he is, may above all things seek thy honour and glory, and that we and all his subjects duly considering whose authority he hath, may faithfully serve, honour and humbly obey him, in thee and for thee, according to thy blessed word and ordinance, through Jesus Christ our Lord who with thee and the Holy Ghost liveth and reigneth, one God, world without end. Amen. The proclamation has been read in the City of London on the 10th of September and in the capital cities and regions on the 11th of September. And now it is my duty to read it to you. Ladies and gentlemen, the proclamation of ascension. Whereas it has pleased Almighty God to call to his mercy our late Sovereign Lady Queen Elizabeth II of blessed and glorious memory by whose decease the crown of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland is solely and rightfully come 
to the Prince Charles Philip Arthur George. We therefore, the Lord Spiritual and Temporal of this realm, and members of the House of Commons, together with other members of Her Late Majesty's Privy Council, and the representatives of the realms and territories, aldermen and citizens of London and others, do now hereby, with one voice and consent of tongue and heart, publish and proclaim that Prince Charles Philip Arthur George is now, by the death of our late Sovereign of happy memory, become our only lawful and rightful liege lord, Charles III, by grace of God of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and of his other realms and territories, King, Head of the Commonwealth, Defender of the Faith, to whom we do acknowledge all faith and obedience with humble affection. He seeks in God, by whom kings and queens do reign, to bless his majesty with long, happy years to reign over us. God save the King. for His Majesty King Charles III. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! That now concludes the uh, formal proclamation. I thank you all for coming along today. Especially nice to see uh, so many of the, the younger members of our community come out to see, uh, which is possibly uh, something none of us have ever seen or experienced before. So thank you very much, everybody.